Okay, hey, we're back, Coon Prairie Ramblers, and we got a what? Well, we got a good show ready to go here to number three, I believe. Number three is, and we got KC. He's going to finish up talking about his adventure in short-term gold. Short-term yeah. gold. Well, I said I want to. Yeah, I was down to two forty-five, and I want to get down to two forty. Mm. And I said that's my short-term goal. I have a long-term goal of getting down to probably around two hundred pounds, but. I never went to school in business administration. I learned a lot on OJT yeah. and uh, on the job training. Hmm. I learned that you got to have short term goals. Long term oh, yeah, goals yeah. are great, yeah. yeah, but you better have short term right. goals to go along with those long term goals. So you can see some progress, right? Short- so long I terms have- will depress you if you don't get them. Yeah, you'll give up on them easier. Yeah, it's 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 easier to look at it and say. Well, I got to knock this five pounds off, and it is to sit there and look. I yeah. got to knock forty-five more pounds off, but I, I'm determined. I'm very determined. But anyhow, that's where I'm at, and that's my story, and I'm sticking to hey, it. Hey, about the metformin. Earlier in the early the, the last segment, you mentioned that you got off metformin and you felt better. Was that because of the diet, or well, or I think the, the I think the, the diet. Yeah, okay. I don't think metformin makes me. You could feel you bad. Tell it if you but, take one or not. You know, not. I think there's a double whammy with a metformin. If you if you've got a compromised uh, system from the sugar, and that attacks your kidneys. Yeah, one of the things it can harm. And then when you got metformin that can harm your kidneys, you're getting a double whammy. And it, and if you're on that and you're like me and say, "Oh, I'm taking metformin." I can have a donut. I can have the cake. I can have these taters and gravy. Have your cake and eat it too. Yeah. Hmm. Then you're getting in that double whammy on your kidneys. And so, I mean, like I say, I don't recommend anybody would ever not take what a doctor recommends them to take. If if a doctor tells you to take something, you should take it. But I tell you, I closely monitor my conditions, mm-hmm. and I, I wouldn't attempt to do it otherwise. I probably shouldn't have just done what I've done, but I think a I've been very successful at it, but anyhow, Brother Luke has a story to tell. But about you're feeling that better. That's the main oh, thing. I feel much better, and yeah. I'm stronger. I'm gonna tell you, I'm, I'm definitely stronger. Right. My exercise, I've I have done a lot of exercise. I've been riding a stationary bike, and I have been <clears throat> riding my tricycle on the road. I have been doing exercises with bands kettlebells wow. and another day i introduced into that i said you know what the most important thing that i got to work on right now or one of the most important thing is my core strength i have mm-hmm. no core strength whatsoever and that is so important to your stature to your sitting up to your balance, walking to I your mean, balance you name it. i mean you're constantly not without thinking about it but you're using that so i started doing the floor exercises and doing crunches I do push-ups, and a push-up wow. doesn't sound like something to strengthen your core, but it does because you have to engage those muscles to keep your body mm-hmm. straight. Mm-hmm. And it, yeah, I know. And when I was a kid, I could probably sit there and did three hundred push-ups and never broke a sweat. And wow. boy, it ain't that way now. <laughs> I got to tell you, I'd hate to have to do three. Oh, I, I, I have, I have a hard time with it, and I do planks, which oh, basically yeah. you get on your elbow and you're holding a, mm-hmm. a push-up like position but you're still engaging your leg muscles you all your leg yeah, muscles you can feel it all the way down yeah and, and i but anyhow i fell two or three months ago in the bedroom I, somehow trying to get out of the bed or i fell out of bed i don't know it kind of happened in a blur and it was a lot of work <laughs> for kathy to help me get up off the floor mm. i mean it was a chore wow. I, and i was, almost thought we had to get a truck in there or something but anyhow you got two chairs in there, and I wiggled and maneuvered, and finally got up and got on the chair. But since I've been doing this losing weight and exercising, and I get down on the floor and do my floor exercises, with some help putting my hand on furniture, I can stand up myself and get up off the floor. That was no wonderful. Kidding. That wow. was a wonderful That is a feeling. major goal right yeah, there. I know was, you feel good It about wasn't really that. a goal, but it happened. Uh-huh. And when it happened, I was like, yeah. I happen to say it's a serendipity. Yeah. yeah, you does. All of a sudden you think, wow, that was a and the other thing I noticed is I'm getting vascularity Uh-oh. back into my arms. I, I had lost all my vascularity because when you start getting muscle tone underneath there, yeah. it makes those 
Because I can't Hey, you're you rippling. You're going to be getting a tattoo pretty soon. I'll be getting your six packs pretty soon. Oh, you know, because I remember when I was younger, I had my arms were really had a lot of vascularity to them. Yeah, Mm. definition. But now I will tell you what, it's Hmm. it's starting to come back. Look at that. Arnold Schwarzenegger. He's looking like Popeye for you listeners out there. (laughs) But I think that uh, Brother Luke has something to talk about metformin, too. Well, uh, I went to the doctor about a month ago, and uh, I'd had my blood checked a week before, and I went in, and they read the results, and they told me that I was uh, I was borderline diabetic or becoming diabetic. So he prescribed metformin, 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 it? metformin for me, and said so I'm about to cut out all my my sugar and stuff. So I did, and he and I and I I, I called in the prescription. My wife did. I went home and immediately st- cut out all the white stuff. No bread, no rice, no potatoes, only drinking coffee and water, no sweets, no sugar in my coffee or cream or whatever. And that's been a month now, and I feel pretty good, too. But, I, but uh, uh, they had me get these little uh, contraptions where you check your, your blood sugar. And I've been doing that in the morning. Mm-hmm. They said just twice a uh, Fasting blood sugar in the morning before you eat. Yeah. Do that in the morning. How does that run? But they only, they only said do it once more during the day before a meal. They didn't say do it after. Mm-hmm. Well, I was told to do it one hour after after my meal. Mm-hmm. So it, what's your? What's it's been seventies, eighties, nineties. On oh, your fasting? No, all, all day long. Wow, when that's amazing. It? That's almost. That's <laughs> almost. You ought to. Do you have something? You should keep something with you. Because I keep went a in, record. Of I it. went into the dental office. Oh, like a, something sweet. And they checked my blood sugar at seventy, and they said. They didn't want to fool with me till they raised it up a little bit and made me eat some hard candy. Really? Mine's been low seventies, but it, but it also it, it's been like a little over a hundred once mm-hmm. once in a while, hundred and seven. Oh wow, yours you know, is even something like that's that. That's pretty amazing. So I, so when the medicine came in, I called the doctor. I said these are my numbers I've been getting, and they said by all means don't take that. Yeah, because mm-hmm. so it'll like, metformin will drive your blood sugar yeah down Way if low, it's so low. I yeah. haven't touched. I haven't, wow. I haven't cracked that bottle open, but I'm I'm going to go back uh, day after tomorrow. To see him, and I'm going to say, ha, 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 I'm not diabetic after all. Yeah. I'm going to go home and eat pie. Yeah, and be you know, back up in the same situation. Yeah, yeah well, my fasting <laughs> blood sugar has been right around where I, I like. It's like 100, and like I say, it's in the 90s. Sometimes after I've ate a bigger meal, it's got up to 120, but that's it. I mean, none of this 144 stuff. Yeah, like a roller coaster ride way no, up no, and way down. No more of that crap. But I'm going to continue to watch what I eat. And I, and what I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to do, I'm going to be good all week, and on Sunday I'm going to reward myself. I'm not going to hog out, but no. I may have a biscuit. I may have a piece of pie or something like that, or a little bit well, of rice or potatoes. How would you do on your road trip? I, I was faithful to it. Wow. Everybody else is hogging out on yeah. everything else, and I'm eating uh, <laughs> yeah. salad with, with chicken cut up in wow. it. That's good. That's wonderful. It was hard, boy. Watch, they went to yeah. a lot of good restaurants. Yeah. Oh my goodness, it was good. But uh, a, lot of, a lot of shrimp and grits. Uh, he had that a time or two. Royce did his, yeah. his, his famous meal there, but he ate a lot of seafood and things mm-hmm. like that. Went to a Golden Corral one time. There's the only thing nearby. I had to be good. You pay one price and you can eat Load everything. They don't have another option where you can just get a salad. <laughs> so that that one. So all I got, I can have all the meat I want. I got a bunch of yeah. different kind of meats on my plate. And I got a little bit of green beans. Mm-hmm. And that's all I had. Yeah, that's all I like anyway. It's tough, but I'm, yeah. I'm going to I'm going to stick to it, and and I don't uh, I, and I I don't have a set of scales at the house, so I weighed then what you weigh right now is when I went in a month ago, and I haven't weighed since. Then. It's been a month, so I'm going to be hopefully be surprised. Yeah, let your blue jeans be your scales. Oh well, they have well, been. My yeah, yeah. I went through my clothes yesterday and got rid of some and tried some different shirts on that's and, good. that I hadn't worn in years. So. I'm I've noticed that I've, I had on a couple of t-shirts that I could wear before, but they just mm-hmm. weren't comfortable. Yeah, and I had some shorts I put on that weren't comfortable. Now I could wear them. So I just got to get get my that, my birthday suit to shrink more too. That makes you, that makes you that. feel good when you can put on some clothes that you could. You know, a lot of people have skinny clothes and fat clothes. Yep, I have fat fat clothes and, <laughs> and not quite so fat clothes. I don't have any. I don't have any skinny clothes. <laughs> so goodness, well. We about trimmed all the fat off of that. We're, we're going to slip on out of here, and we're going to be back in a short, yeah. and we'll talk about the if bomb. Yeah. Cool. Yeah.